Cars level three, knee rotations with resisted band. So we're, both, we're gonna do both external and internal. So the first one is gonna be set up for going against the resistance of the band uh, for internal rotation. If you can't get into this position where you're nice and snug so you can generate force, you can definitely pillow yourself up with your hands, that's fine. You're not relaxed, you're actually really engaged, so don't be here and slouched, okay? All right, so with the band anchored, I uh, have it hooked around the foot and we're just going to go into internal rotation. I'm not allowing the leg to move. I'm focusing on the rotation of the tibia and fibula, AKA the shin bones of your knee. So that's what we're focusing on. We have the foot locked into dorsiflexion where the foot is up, off the gas pedal if you would, keeping this all in here engaged. You're gonna feel a lot of this musculature fiery, nice and spicy, we want that. So as we go to internal rotation, I'm driving that heel bone down as I go this way. I can even block my femur, my thigh, from coming inward so I can focus on all that musculature on the hamstring and deepen the, uh, the knee, the back of the knee and calf tissue associated with giving me internal rotation. Then I'm going to slowly go to external rotation and I'll rinse and repeat that process. I wanna do internal, let me just switch the anchor. I'm gonna use my right leg for the, uh, for the description. And again, you're anchored. And now the same thought process. Holding the thigh or base yourself up as best you can. And now I'm fighting against going to external rotation. Slowly driving the heel down, keep firm to slowly come to internal rotation. And then back, rinse and repeat this process. This is CARS level three for knee rotations with resistance band.